Hello, and welcome to the Beauty Saga. I'm Parisa Saga, and today we are going to unbox my wet and wild unicorn. The mailman just surprised me with this, and I could have kissed him. Let me tell you. Oh my god! I don't think I can handle like even the fact that I'm holding it and I know it's inside. <clears throat> okay, well, let's do this. Oh, I should probably say my little intro thing that I'm always like, if you want to see my, I mean, unbox my unicorn box, then you just keep on watching. But of course you want to see what's inside the unicorn box. And, haha, <laughs> I'm not wearing any highlighter, so you know I'm going to apply some of these rainbows right on my face right now. And uh, we're going to go through the products. We're going to first impressions. It's going to be awesome. Of course you want to stick around. I know you do. I'm going to cut myself. Watch. <laughs> Why are you in the emergency room? Um, I was too excited about unicorns. And uh, I couldn't handle the responsibility of opening a package like an adult. Okay. So we have got some packaging. Ooh, I ordered other stuff too. I got the NARS Soft Matte Concealer in the shade Custard. Okay, I kind of want to open this and see what's up. I was like having a really hard time deciding what shade to get myself because it's online. Oh, I think that's going to be a good shade match for me. I hope, I hope, I hope. They have been out of custard for like months. I've been trying to get this concealer. <sighs> okay, so our soft matte concealer. I got the uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. This is their new mascara that everyone is saying is a better, better than sex. The Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara it's a dupe for it I got blackest black this is not the waterproof version um, it says 91% saw intense volumized lashes 98 saw a lengthening effect 87% saw more beautiful lashes uh sold uh sold uh sold so we got that bad boy to try out later packaging slip it's just like, hey, you spent too much money, but you're happy. So there you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Ulta was doing this thing where if you spent a certain amount of dollars, you got like a sampler set. I will uh, maybe do a video on the contents of these after I've tried them out. Maybe some opinions on all the goodies inside the... Uh, Ulta sampler bag. Does that sound like an interesting video that you guys would want to see? Let me know down in the comment section if you want to see me review this bag full of goodies. I don't even know what's in it to be honest. But look at this bag too. It's like rose gold. Mm. Okay, we're here. The unicorn glow box. We've got the unicorn box. Oh, with all of its majesty. It's surprisingly lightweight. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting. Oh, I have to open it. Okay. Ready? Are you guys ready? I don't know if I'm ready. Uh... Oh. Well, that was anticlimactic. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> oh, my God. It's here in all its glory. It doesn't look like anything's broken, which is so so exciting. I always stress about that. Like, I'm like, oh, I'm going to get a broken highlighter. Okay, so the first thing we have here is the Unicorn Glow Highlighting Brush. The perfect brush to create a magical unicorn glow. It is cru cruelty-free synthetic, and it says ultra soft. Mmm. I am a big fan of Wet n Wild brushes. If you've been watching my channel, you know that I own almost every one of them and I use them. I use them today to get this beautiful face. Okay, the wand on this is so cute. It obviously looks like a little unicorn horn, but like I didn't realize from seeing it online, but it's actually got like that oil and water sort of oil spill look to it where it's like 
green but it's also like fuchsia and like all swirled like depending on how you look at it that is cute that is nice then of course we have the wet n wild color icon rainbow highlighter i actually already own this highlighter so i'm not gonna open this one i've had this highlighter for a while i absolutely love it it does a really good job of actually looking like a rainbow out on your face but as i don't know if you can see from mine but i like really like the blue green purple end of mine i'm always like Kind of mixing the blue and green together for a more like mint highlight so <laughs> this highlighter has seen a lot of use out of me pigmented blendable all the things love the rainbow highlighter so we have two new ones <laughs> okay we have bronze over and everlasting glow i'm really excited about everlasting glow i think it's like supposed to be like kind of pink and was like I see the white streaks in it so I think it's gonna be like really like blinding so let's try this one first I don't seem to remember there being like much of a scent on my rainbow one but this one this everlasting glow has a bit of a scent it, it smells exactly like the BH cosmetics palettes when they come like exactly like my Carly Bible new one did and exactly like the black light palette kind of has like that strong like I don't know chemical scent okay 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 enough talking <laughs> Woo! okay looking at this up close you can actually see like all of these all of these like supposed pink ones are actually different colors this one is very rose gold this one is more like of a classic pink and this one's almost like a red got definitely like an orange to it and the whites are different too so these are all different stripes of color. I'm not gonna lie, from the internet, I kind of thought it was just like pink and white, and like the same pink, the same white all throughout. It is not. My one question about this unicorn brush is I just don't think it really like covers enough surface area on this highlighter to get like the full effect of all the different colors. This seems more like this would go good with the Mega Glow highlighters. Do you know what I'm saying? Am I making sense? I kind of want to try something that's going to get all the colors out on my face in like one strip. Do you know what I mean? So I got my Wet n Wild fan brush. That's one option. I've also got this like big fat artiste brush. <laughs> like makeshift artiste brush. Hey, you know what? YOLO. Let's try this out. I'll try the you know, I'll try the uh, I'll try the brush on the other side. But I really want to try this. Okay. <gasps> Breathe and go. Okay, so you can see you got the colors all across. And I'm just gonna run it on my face and we're gonna see what happens here. try this highlighter has tried it like just kind of mixing all the colors together but like it's so cool when you don't do that oh my god the golden hair like bam gold bam pink oh my goodness this top shade in this highlighter this top pink has like a purple duochrome that is like freaking blinding. It's like, oh, maybe it's blue duochrome. Oh my God. That is so much cooler than I thought it was gonna be. Oh my God. Okay, that is so cool. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch out all the different stripes in here and put it on my hand so you guys can see. Cause like, oh, why the hell not? Look at this. I love this one. Mm, I'm so excited. Swatch in. Slim fast break. 
Oh my god, the rose gold one. Oh, it's actually the white in here. I understand now. All right, all right, all right. I'll explain this to you. I'm learning. Oh my god, it's so <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, I was not expecting like that whole sort of thing. So what I'm seeing that's actually causing that like blue purple duochrome is actually this white stripe right here. So if you imagine like I laid the highlighter down like that, that's what's coming across on my face. So I had like this vibrant sort of duochrome coming from this white stripe. Then I have the rose gold and the gold coming together right here like wha bam. So you have like a beautiful pink, a beautiful white, beautiful gold, a beautiful rose gold. A white in the pan turns like magenta, like magenta purple blue here and then more of like a beautiful deeper orangey rose up here oh my god this highlighter is stunning okay i'm not gonna lie i really want to do the highlighter on the other side with this too because <laughs> this one's amazing like that and I want to be blown away again but then we'll just highlight the rest of my face to filth with the other brush so I can tell you what it's like okay everlasting glow you blew my mind that's amazing I'm so happy with that oh right now is when they decide to mow outside come on y'all cut me some slack okay bronze over the rainbow is that what this one's called I only looked at the top bronze over the rainbow okay so this one again weird like bh cosmetics palettes no and um all the shades in here are varying we have what appears to be bronze gold a more different gold wow that was really articulate like a deeper more like antique gold then there's like what it looks white in the pan but i think it's gonna be hella gold and then a more muted tone that i can't decipher and a more golden bronze so there's six distinct shades happening in this okay so i'm gonna take my brush again run it along Oh yeah, you can see the distinct stripes on this faux RT's brush. And are you guys ready? Are you guys excited? Uh, 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 let's do this. Ooh. Okay, there was no earth shattering duochrome this time, but it is golden which I'm like actually really like happy with the bronze on the end the bronze on each end is like a little bit too deep for my skin tone but I was like worried that the highlighter in general was gonna be too deep for my skin tone but it looks like all this middle part is gonna be golden gonna be beautiful probably gonna be like one of those highlighters I actually like reach for on the daily because gold's my favorite color for a highlighter to be let me go ahead and swatch these shades all out and i'll show them to you in a second okay okay individually as i'm swatching it i'm like blown away by these colors oh oh it's a champagne golden dream okay so i have it laid out basically yeah like this on my hand so my hand is like matches my cheek on this side but here are all the colors in this bronze over the rainbow aren't they stunning so many variations of gold and champagne it's just like ha ah. this one is gorgeous this stripe right here is the most like stunning like champagne color i have ever seen why are they mowing right now let's go ahead and 
use this unicorn brush and I'm gonna see if I can kind of target this champagne stripe that I'm really in love with in this and highlight some of the rest of my face with it. Oh yeah, baby. Chin, nose, Okay, now that we are highlighted to the gods here, the highlighters, I really, really, really like these. The rainbow one, hands down my favorite, but oh my goodness, everlasting glow. Coming in, coming in strong with a duochrome. And bronze over the rainbow, I think is definitely an everyday kind of highlighter. It's not super like crazy unicorn. It's more like you could definitely wear this every day. And because of that, I'll probably get a lot of use out of it. So all three of the highlighters are the Beauty Saga approved. Let's move on to other goodies. Okay, we have these Mega Last Iridescent Lip Colors. These, this is like fancy wet and wild packaging. This is like weighty, like fancy packaging and it's got like a little unicorn right here oh so one of these is called immortal tears and the other one is called unicorn soul oh there's a little unicorn like in the bullet in the bullet of the lipstick there's a little unicorn indent in there we're about to find out if they can be layered on top of a matte liquid lipstick because i got some lipstick on I must watch them out of my hand, see. Ooh, that one's like an interesting like duochrome. It's like blue, but it's like fuchsia at the same time. Oh, they're both sort of like really interesting iridescence. They're even prettier in person than when I saw them swatched out. They're really like duochromatic and oh, I'm excited. Okay, well, I think I want to try the more like bluey fuchsia one got like a really pretty like fuchsia base that's like got like a, a teal or like a light blue like shift where this one is more of a white base with like a lavender shift they're both really stunning but I'm gonna try unicorn soul first nice creamy doesn't tug I always appreciate. It can be layered over a liquid lipstick because I just did and it didn't move the lipstick underneath whatsoever. A little bit of the liquid lipstick did get on the bullet, but that's not a deal breaker here. I like it. Not particularly drying, not particularly creamy, which I also don't mind because it means it's not gonna like just like get everywhere all over your face. Really pretty duochrome iridescence that translates onto the lips. Sometimes things look great in swatches and then they don't look so great on your lips, but these look awesome on the lips. And the fact that you can layer it with a liquid lipstick. Mm. I'm gonna put this one, Immortal Tears. I'm gonna put it over a lavender liquid lipstick. Mwah, cause I think that's the money shot, so. The Mega Last lipsticks are the Beauty Saga approved. Okay, and then the eye pigments. These look like the exact same packaging that the uh, Winter Collection, the Sequins and Stardust Collection, that those pigments were. And I'm a big fan of those pigments, except for one, the lightest shade. I forgot what it was called. I have it. Hold on. Yeah, Kung Fu Lightning wasn't pigmented and it was a drag, but the other three, especially Heart of Rose Gold, are some of my favorite eyeshadows. So, okay, so the first one I have open is Pegasus Flutter. It looks like a beautiful, like, pinky lavender sort of something and yeah these are just like those other ones where they have like a little pull top and then you shake them out i don't mind these they keep it fairly like fairly mess free really pretty like lavender like lilac color 
and it has a blue-ish, deeper purple duochrome. Very pretty. I don't know if the camera will catch the duochrome, but it's really pretty. Okay, next is Mythical Dreams. Ooh! Good lord, that one's pigmented. It's like this beautiful purple. Tablet's talking to me. It's like this beautiful purple with a beautiful like lavender iridescent shift. Ooh! You see that? Oh my god. So pretty. I'm gonna try this one out on my eye. I'm already wearing like false lashes, but whatever. Ooh. It is the one I've been the most excited about because it's like a teal color. <gasps> oh, y'all, I'm seeing gold glitter. Sold. Sold. Okay. So it's like a teal shadow with gold glitter. It's really pigmented and it is a gorgeous. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, it's so exciting. Okay, I'm going to put that one on the other eye because why not? We're unicorns. We can do whatever we want to. Whatever we want to. The first one blended like really, really nicely. So let's try this blue here. Hopefully I don't get a bunch of glitter fallout, but we'll blend out. Oh yeah, you can see the gold glitter. It translates to the eye. Yes. Dang, that one's pigmented. It blended out really nicely too. Dang, that one looks fly as hell. <laughs> yeah, and the gold actually translates out on the eye. A plus. Kinda looks like I meant to do this. We can pretend it's chic, that's fine. Okay, we gotta try the light lavender one. I'm gonna pop that on both lids. That looks so pretty. Oh my God. I'm so happy right now. I feel like a pretty unicorn. Honestly, these pigments, these are amazing. I love this turquoise one. The gold translates out on the eye. I just put this one on the lid. It's like surprisingly a beautiful combo on this side. Oh. I'm in love. The uh, loose pigments are the Beauty Saga approved as well. Last time I checked, this set was sold out on Ulta's website but was still available on wetandwildbeauty.com. I will make like a little annotation right here if it is still available and link it down below. I know on Wet n Wild's website you can get all of the items individually and I think the highlighters might still be available on Alta's website. If they are, I'll link those down there too. This is not a sponsored video. None of my content is sponsored. I'm unsponsored and I'm unbiased and I will tell you straight up if I hate something. Let me know down in the comment section if you would like to see a tutorial using the products in this box. I can definitely do that. Also, let me know if you wanna see all the goodies that came in this grab bag and I think there's 24 products in here and just like mini reviews on what's inside. Let me know if you want to see that video too. Make sure you subscribe if you have not done that already. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any additional questions or comments, please leave those down below for me and I will definitely get back to you. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Snapchat, and I have a Twitter. It's at the Beauty Saga for all social media. As always, 
thank you so much for watching and I really do hope that I'm gonna catch you on my next video.